Hey guys, this is Anna Marie, and today I want to share with you the story of Riel. Riel has just been a phenomenal example for me of a phenomenal leader, and I just want to share with this. This is the interview he did with Richard Lee. So enjoy. Hey, in your car. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in my car. I, I didn't want any distractions for this call. I, I just felt it was too important, so I, I isolated myself. Well. Real, let me first say congratulations on hitting the rank of leader last month. That is remarkable. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's quite an honor and a privilege. But it's uh, it's just uh, it's just my way of saying thanks to HIP and all of you at corporate and uh, to my team. I call them hashtag best team ever to Sarah Hine and Pam Otto and Martha. It's the least I could do. Well, Rial, we're we're really proud of you. Um, let let me ask you a few questions here. Uh, very, they're, they're all the same questions I just asked Julie. I'm going to start by asking, who introduced you to Amari? Um, a friend of mine who was actually uh, somebody I was coaching at the time um, called me up and uh, said, you know, the typical what we say. Hey, I've got something I'm excited about. Would you take a look at it? And to be honest with you, Rich, I was actually in a really trans, I was looking for something. I'd actually checked out two or three other companies and I literally had just said to myself, you know what, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm, I'm gonna focus um, on my acting career now because at 57, if I didn't have something that lit my wit, I just didn't wanna do it anymore, you know? And this person literally called that day and I said to them I said you know what because I respected them they were one of my my clients I said you know what out of respect for you I'll take a look but I'm just keeping it real I'm not interested uh, I actually don't want to do network marketing anymore but I'll take a look at it and uh, they sent me a video and I never took a look at it <laughs> and uh, you know she uh, which is a lesson in itself follow-up she called me about three weeks later and um, she said, hey, I got the number one paycheck in the company, which is Sarah Hine, that said that she would love to jump on the phone and talk with you. Would you be open to that? And I was like, uh, can we do it an hour? Because I hadn't looked at the video. And out of respect, I wanted to watch the video first. And she said, sure. And I played the video, the one with Hip uh, holding the baby. And um, I watched 10 seconds. And I knew. Mm. It was a game changer for me, just 10 seconds. I didn't even watch the video. And, uh, you know, it's like you said, I knew I was in. And um, when I came down to corporate, I'm sorry, this is a very emotional time for me right now. But um, when I came down to corporate to meet all of you, you know, I, I expected the corporate meeting i expected to sell myself to you i expected you guys to sell yourself to me and from the minute you know i met mike marimuto and he walked me in the room i said something's different here and we sat down in that in in in, in the office if you remember and we were all in a circle and i was getting ready for the pitches and um you all just started going around the circle and sharing your story and I was like, what's going on here, dude? What is this all about? You know, and it got to me and I shared my story and I was like, I was like, man, I will die for these guys. I will die for these guys. And, and that was, that was huge. And that was, that's how it happened for me. Yeah, Re Real, it was a very emotional day. I will never forget that. Very, very special day. And I, I know that, um, I know that you really, bought into the idea of mental wellness even before you started taking the products. But as you started using the products, what did you notice? Well, like you said, um, I was a mess. I was the typical what we fight for in Amari. I was showing up like Clark Kent, but behind closed doors, I was not Clark Kent. Um, you know, I had chronic pain. I didn't sleep through the night. Um, I was very stressed, anxiety, depressed, uh, almost took my life prior to hearing about Amari. I got into that dark circle and, you know, um, when I got on products, I'm 
pain-free. If anybody knows me, I run up and down the stairs every day. I sleep like a baby. I dream again. I've had one nightmare, but all the rest have been dreams. Um, you know, feel better, no stress, no anxiety. But the biggest thing, Rich, for me, and this was massive, um, I'm a recovered alcoholic and an addict. Christmas Day was one year for me. December 17th, I was having prostate cancer surgery. And honestly, I was more afraid of going back on opioids, because that was my thing, than I was the cancer. And I was so hopeful, because I talked to Dr. Talbot, I talked to, to different people, Sarah Hine, they said, there's a solution. You don't have to do the painkillers. You can use the hemp, you can use the relief, you can use the sleep. And I'm happy to say I didn't touch one opioid, because that would have been, that probably would have not been good for me. I'm just keeping it real. It probably would have took me down the road again. So, man, if just for nothing else but that, Amari's been a life changer for me. Yeah, Real, that's, that's incredible. And I know that uh, you show up pretty regularly on the top enroller list every single month. Uh, do I dare ask, how many people have you enrolled, Real? Uh, I've enrolled a lot. Uh, I want to say... I think I have about maybe 47 wellness partners. I've got probably hundreds of customers, but what's key is finding the right ones. Um, it's, it's flat out a numbers game champions. It just is. And if you, it's just a numbers game, you got to go through the numbers to find them. And I'm really blessed. I call them hashtag the best team ever. Like I said, I have 17 rock stars right now that show up. Um, out of all of that and, and that's but yeah I've I've enrolled a number but I understand the process I know it's a numbers game I'm not I go with 33 if I want to enroll one person I got to talk to 33 people and I've done that for 14 years the numbers work and uh, that's it yeah it's it's amazing Real and I, I know a lot of the people are on this call and um, and Amari's made a difference in their life T tell tell us for a minute what have you noticed uh, that's different in your family dynamic today than, than it was before you started in Amari? Oh, boy. I knew this question was coming and I was trying to prepare. Um, you were kind in the introduction. Um, the reality is um, my family life sucked when I found Amari. It was very, very toxic. And we're still working through stuff. But the best thing, the best difference that I could say, Rich, was the relationship with my middle son is beyond not there. Um, he's very adamant about letting me know how much he hates me, how much he wishes I would die, how it's going to be like to be alone without him, and all these kind of stuff. And for Father's Day, I was running up the stairs and I said, you know, the one thing I want for Father's Day is, sorry, if my son would hug me. And he hugged me two times on Father's Day. He came out, he gave me a card and he hugged me and it's because of the damn mood He's on mood, <laughs> and that stuff works, dude. It's a game changer. I swear, I put that, I put that kid's mood in his shakes. He doesn't even know. And uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it was the best Father's Day ever, man, ever. In oh, my that's, life. that's so awesome, Real. You you, you are. Um, I I know as an actor, one of the challenges, especially with everything that's happening with COVID and everything in produ in the production world in the entertainment industry have put, been put on hold. So how is Amari creating a residual income making a difference for you guys financially? Wow, it's huge, you know. I was just talking about that today, Rich, because, um, you know, in my industry, we're really blessed. I mean, I got, you know, anybody on my cast is making anywhere from, 20 to a hundred thousand dollars a month you know and upwards of that when you get into the executive producers and the writers and stuff like that 
And, you know, when this whole COVID thing happened, you know, I worked for Disney. And by the way, it's General Hospital, Ritz. Oh, my gosh. No, it's okay. It's okay. The general hospital people will get crazy. Um, no, but uh, Disney, Mickey Mouse is very mean. Mickey Mouse came in and he just came in and said, cut all the contracts off. Like literally. So you got people making 10, 20, 30, 40, $100,000 a month. They haven't made anything for three months. And me, yeah, yeah, that's gone. But that's not my main source of income. Network marketing is my main source of income. Maybe it's not as much as that right now, but it's consistent and it's residual. So where they're all struggling and hey, that's where a lot of my clients are right now because they got major stress and anxiety. So I got some solutions for you. Um, but um, you know, yeah, it's been huge. I mean, this is, this is a game changer um, because I'm able to, to not be stressed and like, like the champion that spoke before me. I mean, normally, this situation, I would be stressed, but I'm not. I, I'm really well, not. I'm good. You're, you're well on your way to getting the servant leader. And when you get there, this is the last question I'm going to ask you. What is the cause that you see yourself supporting? Mm, okay. Um, so the, the sugar-coated one would be bullying. I'm going to have a foundation for bullying. Um, the bigger picture that's, you know, pretty predominant right now, it's around um, Black Lives Matter. Um, you know, uh, all lives matter, but I've done a lot of thought on this. And I think the problem is, is needs to be stopped and it needs to be stopped with the youth. So I'm going to create a foundation that enables, uh, kids five to six entrepreneurial minded kids that have a vision of making a difference in the world and being able to give them the tools and the funding to be able to make those dreams a reality. Oh, man, that's incredible, Rial. Well, listen, we are proud of you. Thank you for being on the call. Thank you for being so trans. Hey, guys, if that touches your heart in any kind of shape or form, it totally did mine. It totally is the reason why I joined MI, why it's making a difference in my life as well. So, uh, yeah, contact me, contact anybody who is showing this video, because this is, this is why, this is why we do it. Thanks, guys.